What's up everyone? Vu with Envu Films here. I'm doing a quick vlog here this morning with my phone. Uh, packed up, ready to go for this wedding. And uh, about to load up this luggage with all my gear. So, camera and everything set to go. Set to go. Like, saw the old stuff and then blocks. I don't even know if the, I'm how do you, how do you, um, I don't vlog, I don't usually vlog on this, I usually vlog on my camera. Oh, you want me to grab it? Uh, and I can film you. Not, not right now. That's kind of what keeps the battery, like, I was, we will vlog a little more with them, those, oh, we're there for right now. Anyways, heading out to this wedding. Say hi to a uh, second shooter, Ken, over here. Hello. Say hi to all of 10 of my subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> How's your view count? I don't know, it's like probably like 100 views probably per, per video or something. Good. Well, some videos get to like 200, 300. I don't care, I'm just doing for fun. See where it goes, yeah. Yeah. If anything, it's, I don't good, like, it's good for you to look back. Yeah, I really have, I don't have any goals. It's, kind of like, uh, it's like a journal for yourself. Yeah, I just do it. And for some reason, it gets popular. Liberty Saves America's number one producer. Best gun safes out there. Best gun safes out there. We have arrived at the venue for this wedding, and as you can see, Ken got hungry and started eating, you know. He need, uh, I need fuel. Yeah. And the only reason why he's working for me today is because um, I'm trying to sponsor him for a green card. He's actually illegal. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, so hopefully, you know, I could, I could, uh, he does a good job and I could help sponsor him to stay here in America before he gets deported. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. You know, no problem, man. <laughs> and literally, that was all that we vlogged um, the whole day, which is why I call it a fail because that day, it was a fun wedding, it was a great wedding, great couple, but the weather was just extremely cold and windy. We could not drone, our hands were getting red. Um, it was it was rough and it, was, it got pretty hectic and then I just got more focused on you know, the wedding day and the wedding film and I just completely just forgot about vlogging, just didn't even think about it until probably like right before the reception and I was like, oh, I just realized we didn't really vlog at all. And I just said, you know what, just forget about it because day had already gone by and, um, you know, at that point it's just a lot more important to, to deliver for the client instead of trying to vlog and do all these extra things that just got in the way. So. I have no idea if we ever, I'll ever be able to vlog a uh, a wedding. Um, I just realized that it's just incredibly hectic and crazy, and um, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but I, at this moment, I'm probably just not capable of, of multitasking that on that level. Another thing too is I realized the immense value um, to have a second shooter with me. Um, for the day. Um, Ken Hulam, uh, this guy is amazing, incredible talent. And I knew this the whole, this whole time. And uh, that's why I didn't hesitate on trusting him to come second shoot with me. And he could honestly, prob most likely shoot his own weddings. And uh, Ken, if you hear me, you know, you're probably just too lazy or just don't feel like doing all the logistics, but you definitely have the skills to do so. And I mean, his shots were incredible. Um, you know, they fit my style and overall just great. Uh, and it was a fun time. And it's good to have a companion with you during the day, um, help you carry things and all that kind of stuff and like just communicate. But, you know, give ideas and creative ideas and just have a different perspective on what's going on. And even like shots that I'm usually able to just pull off by myself um, with tripods and stuff, with the second shooter, you're able to do it with a lot more precision um, and care, you know, like the lighting is just right. Um, 
you know, some shots, if I just set it on auto mode or something like ISO, things like that on a tripod, I have to do a lot more work in post. It might not be composed perfectly and I have to do some cropping, but with a second shooter, those shots are taken care of with care and precision and, you know, the product looks great in the raw form without needing to be edited much. So that was a plus. So I really look forward to being able to work more with Ken um, as a second shooter, um, you know, as much as possible. So, you know, I will be probably doing a lot. I'll be doing a lot more single shooting as well, but I now truly recognize the importance and the the value of a second shooter and uh, I would prefer one than not going forward um, just that the overall production is just better um, but it does not mean that one cannot make great films as a single shooter it's just a lot easier and things could go a lot smoother it's less tiring and the overall production should be better but if you're a great single shooter you should be able to mask any issues with out having a second shooter so with that being said hope you all enjoy the teaser of that uh, uh for the couple of that day um i guess that's it for now peace i'm out